Hello everyone. Welcome to my new After Effects tutorial. Before I continue, I'm asking if you are not yet to subscribe then subscribe in order to get all notification I offer. By then today we are going to create CD round effect without using any 30 plugin, in After Effects. Open After Effects and create a new composition by making 1920 by 1080 and duration set to 10 seconds rename the composition to round disc then hit OK Perfect. Now, go to project panel. And import your files, in my case I have already created my files using Adobe Photoshop so I will upload it here to the project panel. Perfect. Right click on the timeline and make a new solid. And leave its settings, as it is. Change the background color, as you like, in my side I will choose red color as my background. Then hit OK. Perfect. Go to the effects and presets, and search for, gradient ramp. And apply it to the layer. Now, adjust the few setting in order to make your background look, perfect, and smooth. In my case, I choose blue colors, to give a nice look to my background, so wait till I finish to select my colors, but you can choose any color you want. Perfect, change linear ramp to radial ramp, and adjust, the ramp scatter to around 300. Perfect. Now place your files that you have prepared for creating a round disk effect. Start by place your video cover in a timer line. And resize it according to your need. Perfect. Now place the CD PNG in a timer line. And resize it according to your need. Perfect. Now, place the CD layer behind the cover, and adjust its position as you like. Perfect. Now, pre-compose the layer by, right click to the layer, and choose pre-compose. Rename the composition as you like, make sure you click on. Move all attributes into the new composition, then hit OK. Also, repeat the previous process in the CD layer too. Perfect. Now, make sure the ankle point is in the center of your CD layer. Select your CD layer. And, select the pan behind tool, or you can place Y in your keyboard to apply it. Now, move the anchor point to the center of your CD. Make sure, it stays firmly in the center so that it won't disturb us on rotation. Perfect. Now, let's try to rotate it to see if the anchor point is right. Hit R in your keyboard to open rotation. As you can see, it is rotating as we want. So let's add some expression to it in order to rotate perfect. Now, hold ART on your keyboard, and then click to the rotation stopwatch, and it will open the expression bar. So, let's edit the expression in order to make the rotation animation looks more perfect. By writing, time star 90, make sure you are using small letters.
Then click OK to complete. Now, let's see the animation. Perfect. Now, select all CD layers and pre-compose them, to get only one composition. Perfect. Resize it according to your need. And adjust its position as you like. Perfect. Now, place P on your keyboard to open position, and let's add some animation to it. Add position keyframe in one second of the video, and then go back to the beginning of the timeline and adjust its position as you need. Perfect. Mark all keyframes. Right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and easy easy them. Go to graph editor and make your graph like this. Perfect. I want to thank you for watching my tutorial, and if you enjoy it, make sure you hit like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. See you.